What's up guys, Card Protagonist here. Today I'll be doing a deck profile on my Ramio Reverse deck, which features the cross right version of Ramio, which is our break right, which which means he has a cross break right deck. So that's cool. So this card is very new from the set BT13, although yes, BT14 is coming out in a few days. So yeah, let me go through the deck and explain how it works. So yeah, the first card we have deck with four Ramio Reverse. Her ability is pretty complex. So basically you choose two of your rare cards with Celestial the name and you lock them. Choose two cards and you lock them and choose three cards from your three cards on your front row and they gain plus 5k power. Well this is pretty um weird because well overall this skill gives you a plus one because whenever you lock one rare guard which most likely gonna be a booster, you'll lose at least 5k power because of the boost. So at least her skill allows you to replenish that 5k because you get to boost your front row for 5k. So basically those front row won't really, really need any boosters. Okay, second ability is whenever you, um, you have a face, card, face up card called Clean Up Celestial Ramio Reverse in the damage zone. So basically it's in damage zone. You can set this up very easily with uh, many other cards in the deck. Um, choose one of your opponent's damage zone and put it into the drop zone. Choose one card from the damage zone. So you can choose, choose their, either their flip card or their unflip card. And you can um, put them in the drop zone. And your opponent chooses one of his rare guards and put it in the damage zone. This card is very interesting because um, it's almost as good as a retire, a retire skill. But however, cards like uh, Sea Otter. Well, because Sea Otter says this card cannot be retired. This card is not a retire effect. It is um, just moving a card from your dam um, from your field to a damage zone. Which is equal, which is like kind of destructive effect. Yeah, and of course, uh, her ability is when you have Ramio in the soul, it plus 2k. So it's a 13k Vanguard, cross right. Pretty cool. Uh, because, well, now interesting thing is she doesn't need any counter blast for her skill. So very, very cost efficient. Very good. Yeah, very good card. So yeah, now let's go on to 4. Um, Prophecy Celestial Ramio. Her ability is Break Right. Uh, whenever another Angel Feather rides a buffer, the new Angel Feather gains another game plus 10k power and you can choose a card from your damage zone and add it to your hand so for, let's say for example you need a perfect guard um, from your damage zone and add it to your hand you can well break right get the perfect guard and of course plus and then put the top card of the deck into the damage zone of course because you're not gonna, fr gonna heal one for free so yeah second ability is when this unit attacks a vanguard it plus 2k so it's a 13k base attacker very cool and of course needed for the very like the very lovely cross right Alright, let's get on to Great Tools. Great Tools is for uh, Bunny Horn Clones. Ability when you control a Celestial Vanguard. Um, as a rare guard, a, she's a 12k attacker. Very good. Because 11k Vanguards all day. And this is my favorite card of deck. The Candlelight Celestial. So her ability is um, you can counter blast one card at, to search a deck for a um, for Angel Feather and place in the damage zone. Yeah, so basically she helps you set up um, cards like these. I'm gonna go through a few examples. A card like these. And this. These are the cards you wanna add to your damage zone for the benefits. I'm gonna go through them later. So yeah, so her ability allows you to set up one. By counter blasting one, you can place um, Angel Feather from your deck to your damage zone face up. And then choose one card in the damage zone face up and put it in the drop zone. So. You mostly want to use it, for example, you want to have like, let's say your damage is like this. You must at least have 2 damage in order to use a skill. Okay, you call it to a regard circle, counter blast, search for this card. So that you don't have to like, so called, let's say you you must at least have 2 unflip damage to use skill. Because otherwise you're just gonna like, put her back to the drop zone, kind of pointless. So at least have an um, unflip card, place the unflip card down. So yeah, this is one point to remind, remind you guys. Oh yeah, so yeah, for these, these cards are amazing, this is my favourite Angel Fellow cards. And of course, finally, the new Emergency Celestials, uh, Daniel. Her ability is um, Counter Blast, E-Special Counter Blast 1 Celestial. When this, uh, her ability activates when she's in the damage zone. And let's say you take a, you take a damage. Let's say another card like her. Goes to damage zone, her ability activates. You can E-Special Counter Blast 1 Angel Feather. Superior call her to your uh, few, so yeah. 
So basically, you set up with the skill of the candle candlelight because well, she allows you to set up. So the next time you take a damage or swap damage, you get the free unit for a cost of one counter blast. So isn't too bad. And she's a decent nine k attacker. That is yeah, that's all. So for great ones, you play four perfect guards, celestial perfect guards, four emergency celestial. Um, no idea what the name is. So, but her ability is when this unit is placed on the rare guard circle, you can swap one card in from your hand to a damage zone. So basically, she's like the um, battle cupid nausea, which means but she's a great one version. In yeah, she's very good. Oh, you have to um, you have to swap one card, um, one celestial card from your hand. So that's what the difference. They use her in the celestial deck. It's very good. And this is a very interesting card in the deck, which I kind of like, because this deck, um, with the help of this card and and candlelight celestial, this dude, um, getting cards into the damage zone is very easy. Very easy. So yeah, ability is when, whenever you got a a card with, whenever you have another copy of this card in damage zone, he plus another two k, so it's an eight k booster. Behind the the cross right, well twenty one k magic. Behind the non cross right break right. Still twenty one k, so still there. I think she's he's pretty interesting, very fun to play with, and yeah, getting eight eight k boosters is very important as well. And two Arabakis, so yeah. Um, whenever you control a Celestial Vanguard, she's a ten k attacker, k clone. And let's go on triggers. Eight crits. Four draws, homies, and four heals. And finally, the starter we have here is, you know, the starter ability is very simple. Uh, Pioneer effect, right, comes out. Ability is put her into soul. Um, choose one, uh, choose a face up damage and add it to your hand. No, I'm um, superior card to the field, and then place a card from the top of damage zone face down to the field. So yeah, very very nice. Um. She's very easy to play, I guess. Well, actually, I kind of... In my previous Angel Feather, I actually use her. But just because you want to... Her ability is more uh, for the hand. Let's say you need... Let's say you need her, her in the damage zone, but she's in your hand. You can use her as well. As well. So that's why. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed my deck profile on my Ramio Reverse deck. Please remember to subscribe to me and add me on Facebook for the best Vanguard decks out there. Um, BT14 is coming, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be uploading tons of videos, so be sure to stay tuned. Yeah, can't wait. Peace out guys, love you all.